What's going ladies and gentlemen, it's Daniel and welcome back to our video. Today I'm doing race picks for the 2023 Beef, it's What's for Dinner 300. Let's go ahead and just jump straight into it. This week in the NASCAR Xfinity Series kicks off their 2023 season at Daytona National Speedway on a 2.5 mile Daytona National Speedway racetrack. This is race is expected to be crazy, very chaotic, and we'll have probably a crazy wreck to end the 2023 opener. In last year's race, we saw Austin Hill pick up his first career NASCAR Xfinity Series victory, and we look into the Fed, his win his win at the opening race at Daytona when he won last year. So now let's go and look at the picks. Before we jump into picks, let's take a look at the weather for this weekend. So the weather for the Saturday, upcoming Saturday is actually looking really promising. So it's 67 degrees is high, 59 degrees is low, but there's a 0% chance of rain right now with partly sunny skies. So it's expected to be really nice weather if you're going to Daytona. 67 is pretty nice weather for Florida weather. And I think it's some good weather if you're headed out to Daytona International Speedway. So anyway, let's go ahead and jump into the picks. Before we jump into picks, let's talk about how picks work on this channel if you're new to the channel. So, I do two suck picks, two drivers I think I'm going to think who I think will struggle. Two underdog picks, two drivers I expect to have really good runs who have had pretty good runs in the past or I think will run well. And a winner's pick, the driver I think is going to win. And then I do the ones you need to watch out for at the Daytona. I've got four drivers you need to watch out for that do not include the winner. So, let's go ahead and jump on a to the picks. Who are my suck picks for the beef? It's what's for dinner 300. My first suck pick is a driver who's making his return to the NASCAR Xfinity Series who usually runs a lot of road course races, but this time he's running at Daytona National Speedway. My first suck pick is Parker Chase. Parker Chase is an okay driver in my opinion. He comes from the IMSA side of things, but I don't think Parker Chase is going to have a good run. Not only because he's not really the greatest on the old types of tracks, but also I just think that he's going to have a lot of bad luck. And you need to have a lot of good luck if you're going to run up front. And I unfortunately think he's going to have some bad luck this time around, so I unfortunately think Parker Chase is going to struggle in this race. It would not shock or surprise me if Parker Chase does end up crashing out of the opening event. My other suck pick for this weekend is a driver who, of course, is running full-time in the Xfinity Series this year. But the last time we're at Daytona, he unfortunately crashed down. basically brought out one of the first early wrecks of the race last time we were at Daytona or National Speedway. I'm talking about Sammy Smith. I'm expecting some pretty big things from Sammy Smith going into 2023. But unfortunately, I think Sammy Smith is going to struggle in the opening Xfinity Series event. Like I mentioned last time here at Daytona, he didn't do very, very good. So I think he unfortunately struggles. And I think Sammy Smith is unfortunately going to have a bad race here at Daytona. And I think he has a terrible race. And now we're going to jump onto underdog picks for the opening Xfinity Series race at Daytona. Who are my underdog picks? My first underdog pick is a driver who's joined the Xfinity Series on a full-time basis for the first time since 2013. Is a driver who's won multiple Truck Series Super Speed races in the past. I'm talking about Parker Klegerman. Parker Klegerman is a driver I really expect to have a really good year in the NASCAR Xfinity Series. And with his experience on Super Speedway style tracks, I really think that's going to come into play to help Parker Klegerman this time around. And I think he's going to have a really good chance to win. When a shock surprise even wins, I think he for sure gets the top 10. 48 team also qualified very well the last time in the opening event. Jay Buford, I think, won the poll for last, year, last year's opening race, if I'm not mistaken. I think Parker Klegerman is going to have a chance to win the event. My other dog pick is the driver who's pretty good at super speedway tracks in his own way. And at Talladega in the spring, he finished second with Richard Childress Racing. I'm talking about Jeffrey Earnhardt. I think Jeffrey Earnhardt's going to have a really strong opener. And I think Jeffrey's going to surprise a lot of people this year in the NASCAR Xfinity Series. Of course, he's driving full-time for Alpha Prime Racing this season. I think Jeffrey Earnhardt is going to have a very strong opening race. And I think he could be a surprise contender to win the opening race for the Xfinity Series at Daytona. I expect to have a pretty good opener at Daytona. And now we're going to ahead and jump on to the winner's pick for this weekend's Xfinity Series race at Daytona. Who do I think is going to win at Daytona? Well, my winner's pick is a driver who's not driving full-time in Xfinity Series. In fact, he drives full-time in the NASCAR Cup Series for the same organization. But this guy has ran really well here at Daytona. He's won a lot of races at Daytona and Talladega as well. I'm picking Justin Haley, who will drive the 10 All-Star car for Call of Racing. He is my pick to win the opening race at Daytona. Like I mentioned, Justin Haley's in the Xfinity Series race, and that is really dangerous. He's one of the best Super Speedway Xfinity Series drivers in history, and I think he's really going to help that college team overall this year in their Super Speedway programs. I think he's running all the Super Speedway races this year with college racing and Xfinity. So I think he's going to do a really good job, and I think Justin Haley will win the season opening Xfinity Series race at Daytona. He's my pick to win the opener. 
So now we're going ahead and jump on to ones you need to watch out for for here at Daytona. Who are my ones to watch? My first driver need to watch out for is a driver who was really the best at Super Speedways last year in 2022. Got two wins and probably should have won the Spring Talladega race, but unfortunately he got turned in the late portion of the event. Had led like 70 or 80 laps to that race before unfortunately getting turned. Talk about Austin Hill. Austin, of course, will drive full-time once again in the Xfinity Series this year, but will be tempted to make the Daytona 500 this year. He's a driver who's become really good and accustomed at these super speedways, plus he won the truck race with a Tory Racing back in 2019, getting his, getting his first win in the truck series there. But I really think Austin Hill is going to be a threat to win this. It wouldn't shock or surprise you if he goes back-to-back -back in the opening race. I think he's going to have a really good chance to get it done, and I think Rich Schultz Racing is going to bring some pretty big horses and some pretty big horsepower to the opening event. The second driver thing you need to watch out for the opening race for the NASCAR Xfinity Series is a teammate to the winner of the race, Justin Haley, Daniel Hammer. Daniel Hammer, I think, actually was the one who won the pole for this event last year and actually, I think, swept the stages once stage one and ended up winning stage two as well. He was very competitive in the event last year. I think Collig is going to bring some really good pieces and have some really good pace and some really good speed. I think the Collig boys are going to work together. I think Daniel Hammer, for sure, is going to be a threat to win the opening event. The third driver I think to watch out for is a driver who's joining the college organization this year, Chandler Smith. Chandler Smith's a pretty decent super speedway driver in my opinion, but with him joining college racing, you ultimately become a threat once you join this team. They have a really good super speedway program, like I mentioned multiple times. I think Chandler Smith is going to absolutely be a threat, and I think that 16 car that won at Talladega last year, I really think that he's going to have a really good opportunity and a really good chance to get it done. So I think Chandler Smith is going to be a threat. And I expect the 16 car to be really fast in the season opening event and be pretty fast throughout the 2023 season. And the final driver I think you need to watch out for in the season opening Cindy Series race at Daytona is John Hunter Nemechek. Now, John Hunter Nemechek doesn't always have the greatest track record at Super Speedway style tracks, but John Hunter Nemechek is going to be a Joe Gibbs Racing. And Joe Gibbs Racing does have a pretty good Super Speedway program, so I expect that John Hunter is going to be very, very quick in a seasoning opening race. I think he's going to get the best out of that equipment, and I think he's going to make that 20 car really, really strong this year. Wouldn't surprise if he gets it done, but I think he'll for sure be a threat to win the season opening race at Daytona. So, those are my race picks for the Beef It's What's for Dinner 300. Just a reminder, my winner's pick is Justin Haley, my underdogs are Park Klickerman and Jeffrey Earhart, and my suck picks are Parker Chase, Sammy Smith, and the ones to watch are Austin Hill, Daniel Hemrick, Chandler Smith, and John Hunter Nemechek. Those are the drivers you need to watch out for for this weekend. So, that is going to be for the race picks we do for Daytona for Xfinity. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Notifications on to be notified when a video does go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and support me on Patreon as well. Links are going to blow over that, and combo your race picks for this weekend at Daytona. Tell me your winner's pick, tell me your underdog picks, and tell me your suck picks for this weekend at Daytona. Let me know in the comments below. There might be one more video up on the channel later today. It might be a paint scheme look at all the paint schemes that have been revealed. I have planned for a live stream to be up on the channel later today. Unfortunately, I'm not really feeling the best at the moment right now. And I can't really talk 100% straight. So right now at the moment, I'm not. I'm canceling that stream. It could come out later this week. We'll just have to wait and see what I decide to do it. So I apologize for that. But there will not be a live stream on the channel here later today. So anyway, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's episode, and I'll see you guys next time for some more great, awesome NASCAR content and other motorsports content on the channel like this. We've got a lot of content on the way, by the way. Multivideos every single day as we get close to the opening race at Daytona for all three series. Truck Series racing coming up on Sat Friday. you got the duels on Thursday, of course. Qualifying tomorrow. Looking forward for the week to get started, so I'm looking forward to that. So I'll see you guys there for more awesome content, a lot of content on the way that I think you're really going to enjoy. Take care, everybody.